What is Burning Man Fire Conclave? Fire Conclave is the primary gigantic fire show that takes place at Burning Man. The Burning Man Fire Conclave is a huge gathering of fire performers. It is a massive, collaborative, artistic expression of fire dance. And we train all year long to perform in the great circle on the night before the man burns. Within these conclaves, families and lifelong friendships are formed. Here's some intimate knowledge and an up-close look at a Burning Man fire conclave. The conclave performance is made up of many other conclaves that start the journey as early as January. Some do not finish, but those that do come together to form a massive fire spectacle for about 60,000 burners on the most epic night of Burning Man. In the early years of Burning Man, people would dance around the man before it burned. This was a very important part of the ritual. Eventually, this fire dancing group grew and grew and became formalized and organized and what is now the Burning Man Fire Conclave was formed. Some lingo so that you better understand us. A Fire Conclave is a group of fire dancers. Most of them assemble out of their areas out of fire jams and performance troops. But THE Burning Man Fire Conclave is when all of these groups come together to form the largest fire show on planet Earth. A captain is usually a pod leader within a routine. A shin is a conclave group's leader, but also a teacher and a guide. The council are four experienced Burning Man conclave veterans and founders. Each has their own unique experience with fire dance and Burning Man. The council are the architects and guides for the fire conclave and it's ultimately their decision which groups make it to the Great Circle on the Man Burn Night. Each year it varies, but between 25 to 35 groups can be selected to perform after they submit a very specific audition video. Each gets to perform in front of a section of the crowd within the Great Circle on Burn Night. The council announces which groups are chosen a couple groups can be selected to stand sentinel during the ceremony and mark areas of the Great Circle. There is also a procession group, which are the torchbearers and luminists who create the path for Lumen Ferris, the sacred fire of the burn. On the first Monday of Burning Man, Crimson Rose extracts a flame from the sun to light a fire in a special cauldron known as El Diablo. And for it to continue burning, it must be stoked, disturbed, and kept alive for an entire week. And on Saturday night, the fire that has been extracted from the sun, drummed and danced around, finally is transferred to a special lantern, Luminferis. The procession of the ceremonial flame proceeds to the great circle where the sentinels receive this fire and share it with the fire conclaves. There is a processional band that generates a vibration for the man and all the burners around us. Together with the drums of the performance troops and the howls of the burners in the crowd, the minutes before the final man burn have a powerful energy like nothing else in the world I've ever felt. Conclave shows are usually about 15 minutes with a big fire renegade filling the last few moments before the man is lit. Groups from around the world come together in this circle. As a spectator, if you're going to Burning Man, the part of the circle from which you watch the show determines which conclave group you're gonna be seeing. Some groups have history going back many years. My conclave experience began in 2017 when I was told to join Hellfire, which practiced in my town. I recruited my baby sister, Cookie, into the group, who is a very talented hula hooper. Burning Man's theme that year was Radical Ritual, and we did a radical performance dedicated to various tribes that influenced the performing flow arts. In 2018, I returned to Hellfire 
as a poi captain. And we performed a Little Mermaid themed show. And I thought having fish costumes on Playa was just really cool. 2019 was the last official Big Burn. And here we are in 2022. Hellfire had disbanded by then. But we reformed with the help of my sister being the Shin, myself and a lot of our old members reformed to become Lumi Dance. And with a Mulan themed show, we did our best to fill the legendary footprint left by Hellfire. And in 2019, Lumi Dance performed at 6.30 on Burn Night. Many of the themes are tribal or some inspired by movies or books, or some are inspired by the theme of that year's Burning Man. 2022, the Burning Man theme is Waking Dreams. And I joined a newly formed fire conclave in Long Beach called Pyro Oasis. We worked incredibly hard to make this submission video. I will link it in the description. These friends sacrificed countless hours and burns to make this. Take a deep breath in. And through our commitment to each other, Pyroasis will be performing in the Great Circle at this year's Burning Man 2022. Go, go, Pyroasis! More than just a performance group, we form small family bonds within the fire community. Happy birthday to you. It's also a great opportunity for less experienced fire dancers to learn and grow. I've learned so many tricks and was inspired by great leadership to pick up new props and to expand myself as an artist. This year, tragedy struck our fire conclave family. Justin Morris's friends say it is difficult to come back to Rosie's Dog Beach tonight, but they're easing the pain through music. Not even 24 hours ago, they say their friend, a talented fire spinner and performer, Justin Morris, who they knew as Fluffy, was tragically gunned down. He had multiple parts in our conclave, and we were so lucky to have him as part of our family. Molly Farrell says the group practices at the popular beach every Tuesday night. These photos shared with us of Morris performing last night. She says they had just wrapped up recording a video for the upcoming Burning Man Festival and they were about to leave the parking lot. There was a car driving really fast back and forth and the driver was a little agitated when we asked him to slow down. When he came back, he had three of his friends with him. Morris's friends say several men got into an altercation with their group, and then those men opened fire, shooting and killing Morris. When police arrived to the scene after 10.30 last night, the gunman or gunmen had taken off. Investigators do not have a clear description. When the paramedics arrived, and um, they, they didn't leave with him. He, he had no chance. Morris's friends say the senseless and violent way he died goes against everything their fire conclave believes. They say they promote peace and positivity. This is not what we're about at all. Like, I mean, everybody loves us. People come here all the time to watch us spin. You know, we, we've kind of grown a following out here. They believe Morris was killed last night trying to protect the people he loved. Our fire team has been shattered on so many levels dealing with this tragedy. We're all clinging together right now to support each other, mourn our fallen friend, and help support the family. We've done bonfires and camping trips together to try and heal some of the trauma that we've endured. I am doing everything I can to try to make changes happen at Rosie's Dog Beach and Long Beach to make it a safer place. Things like more police presence, more video surveillance. They need to install some kind of concrete speed barriers to stop the gangbangers from street racing. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, jump. Fluffy was one of the best of us and he would want us to continue the work that we were doing and to do our absolute best 
So after taking some time to heal, our conclave reassembled. We made our submission video, and we wore pink and black because Fluffy always wore a bright pink fluffy coat. And at the end of our show, we even figured out a way to spell Fluffy, so that all who see will know of him right before the man burns. We have been accepted by the Fire Council and will perform together in honor of our friend. Our goals now are to fundraise and prepare. If you are preparing for Burning Man, I have helpful videos for you with links in the description. If you would like to help donate to our group's expenses and us making a memorial for Justin at Burning Man's temple, Venmo Pyroasis. I'll leave the Venmo below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. Feel free to share it with a Conclave member or a friend who loves Burning Man. Feel free to leave me a comment. Tell me if you're going to Burning Man this year. If you're at Burning Man and you wanna try and come find me, Look for this burning heart, which is at 6 and E. I'll be staying at a village with the Pyroasis performers. Just look for the burning heart at 6 o'clock and Enigma, not too far from Center Camp. Go ahead and subscribe. I do make videos all the time. Good luck to you out there. I'll see you next time. And as always, just have a powerful day.